one of the spiritual lineages that I have been so blessed to encounter in my life is actually that of Christianity. And I will share more <laughs> on the long journey that I've had with that lineage. So I grew up in more of an evangelical Christian setting that um, was really quite painful in many ways for my soul's journey um, because there was like a sense that there was a doorway, a connection with God. And yet, um, like those around me weren't, weren't really walking through it. And it was confusing because I felt a lot of spiritual connection in like worship settings. And yet I didn't feel others connecting there in like uh, it was lonely. And then there was also this um, overlay of, of uh, patriarchy in the mix where, you know, a huge shadow in um, most uh, Christian lineages is uh, like leaving out of anything related to the divine feminine. And so there I was as a young woman feeling this really deep connection with spirit and with the divine, with God, and feeling wrong for being in my body as a woman as well as alone. And so I, I left my church pretty much around um, graduating from high school. I uh, just uh, really, really felt um, like a lot of pain in, uh, in what had happened there, and, and I left. And I uh, was an atheist, I identified, you know, pretty much just an atheist for a number of years, and those were really challenging years. <laughs> they were uh, also lonely, <laughs> and, but, but without the connection that I had felt previously in my life, and uh, kind of I threw the baby out with the back, bath water, if you will in that in that choice and 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 i filled my life with a lot of there was a lot of anger there was a lot of um, force and uh, trying to force change in the world trying to force like in unjust systems to change through like anger and it really really wasn't working at all uh i i reached a point of of burnout and feeling like uh, I had made all these choices in my life that created so much pain. And I like really didn't know what to do. I began to feel um, this block in my throat, this like pain in my throat. It was like manifesting in my body as this like physical, like somebody was like choking me sensation pretty much all the time. And that was the beginning, that was the catalyst, the beginning of, of my healing journey of um, choosing to make changes in my life so that I could uh, re reconnect with, um, with, with myself, with, with uh, the divinity within, with God within me. And the catalyst that was uh, that is so potent, one of, one of the first moments <laughs> that was really significant in that journey was actually um, sitting in a sweat lodge with other women. And it was a Lakota uh, sweat lodge. And uh, it was the first time in uh, probably eight years that I had been in a space of prayer with others. And it was so potent <laughs> to, to hear the prayers rising up in the darkness of the lodge with the heat and um, the connection with the ancestors being invoked. And I'd never worked with ancestors before. I didn't even know that was a thing. And what ended up happening for me in, in the lodge, and I shared with the woman who had held the lodge the next morning, I, I thanked her because I prayed for the first time in a way that felt authentic to me. And that was through song. 
and it was allowing my indigenous ancestors to sing through me. And that had um, never even been something I ever would have considered happening. It was a pretty spontaneous activation of my my channel um, to uh, allow those voices to come through inside of that space. And the first time I had felt safe to sing also in a really long time. And I didn't even know it at that time that I had um, some indigenous ancestors. <laughs> and so uh, I began to dig into my ancestry from there and um, learn more about all the different lineages that this body contains. Um, so circling back, to Christianity, which is a really charged word, even now when I say it for me and my body, because the, the wounds there are so deep and the distortions of the teachings uh, so deep in, in my experience. The, um, not only the leaving out of the divine feminine, which um, there are threads of, uh, the, the Sophia, uh, feminine essence of God that was left out. Um, and, uh, ha has, there's like a thread of Sophia teachings that have survived through, um, like some small sects of, of Christianity that we're now able to, that I've been able to connect with directly. That's been incredibly helpful and gratitude to my mentor, Kate Siner for really, um, opening that, that doorway for me. Um, so that, so that's a whole huge piece of wounding. And then there's a, the wound, um, that has to do with, uh, what was coming through, um, Yeshua, Jesus's teachings regarding Christ consciousness and the distortions there. And I had a conversation with a dear sister of mine yesterday, and it was really, um, it's a painful thing to acknowledge, and I want to acknowledge it, that, you know, um, in Jesus' name, so many have been killed. And the, the like, essence of Christ consciousness, like what it really is, has been... Um, distorted so deeply, like used as a, as a, a, a reason to create pain and like deep, deep, violent wounds. And so this, um, this friend of mine who is, uh, of indigenous American ancestry, you know, like right now finding the buried bodies of children under, you know, underneath schools and churches in, in our region. And um, how, like, like right here and right now, there's a healing movement um, uh, of, you know, how those um, injustices and traumas can be, like, like found uh, a, 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 a way through, you know, what has happened. And so it's a, it's an interesting lineage to feel connected to. And in my, in my own bloodlines, certainly victims and perpetrators, uh, you know, connected in here. And, uh, the, the, the ways that, like the essence of things, like the heart of things get lost along the way because of fear, because of distortions, because of uh, storylines, whether those are intentional or just, you know, kind of like inherited trauma, <laughs> finding its way to manifest more trauma. Um, there's uh, a lot there. So in my spiritual journey, of uh, choosing to see all of what I just named and the, and the pain of it. 
um, and healing my own wounds around uh, Christ's teachings and the um, uh, bringing Sophia back into the mix. Mm. That uh, point of uh, inviting the Divine Feminine back in has been a really key component. And so there's an invitation inside of myself to hold a balance of divine masculine and divine feminine inside of my my body my being to uh, work with those uh, you could call them archetypal energies uh, energies uh, that that are uh, the essence of mm, these these teachings and to um, like like i don't uh, identify as Christian, <laughs> I, but 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 there's like something kind of like way way back, like pre Christianity, that is there in the mix. That is the the knowing of the heart, <laughs> and the knowing of our ability to connect with the divine in in the way that is authentic, and uh, a knowing of uh, the the value and the importance of the divine feminine not being like cut out, cut out, and uh, the the pain and distortion that comes when when it when it when she is, and so that's a, a bit of my uh, spiritual orientation and some of my spiritual journey and and some of the <laughs> things that I find present in this moment around around these topics. Um, wherever you are in your journey <laughs> with whatever lineages have been present for you and this isn't the only lineage that I connect deeply with there are others but this is a um, one that there's uh, an opportunity for my soul to invite a healing movement around and so if any of this you know resonates uh, on, on your path, you know, know that there are ways of working with these wounds that are so deep and so old and, uh, and so, so deeply challenging and, and heartbreaking. And, um, that there's always a way, like whatever the distortions are to find like the, the, the heart of what it is that um, can be like resonant for you to connect with. Thanks for being on your path.